Here are the uh, steps to make a bottle stopper. We're going to start by mounting a little uh, screw chuck in the uh, tail end chuck with number two jaws. This has seven uh, sixteenths threads on the end. Tighten all four holes here. Then it's uh, usually a good idea to take a little bit of uh, paraffin wax and put it on the threads here. That makes it easier to get the uh, bottle stopper off. The uh, bottle stopper has uh, 7 16 inch threads in it. We'll thread it on, tighten it up a little bit. Sometimes in the, if the wood is really soft, it, sometimes the uh, threads will pull out. If that happens, we have another uh, little screw chuck with much longer threads on it that we can save the piece that, uh, where the uh, threads pulled out by using this one. So we'll move the uh, tool rest up to within about a half an inch or so of the work piece and we'll start with a uh, with a spindle gouge and it's usually best to encourage the uh, people that haven't done this before to do a pretty simple shape rather than having lots of uh, little ins and outs and making it look kind of like a table leg. So just kind of you rub the bevel against the wood and shape the uh, end here. I'm just going to make a nice uh, consistent curve around the end. Then I'm going to make kind of, kind of a tree shape. best to tell the people who haven't turned before to turn the spindle gouge to about 45 degrees for the uh, flutes. That makes it pretty easy to control. So we'll turn a little bit of a round shape there. And Start back here, removing some material. Want to go down to about an eighth of an inch higher than the uh, screw chuck. That makes it about the right size for the top of a, a wine bottle. Remove some material here that'll make it a little bit of a tree shape. Okay, that's pretty much the shape I want here, so now I'm ready to do a little bit of, uh, of sanding. And we're using uh, two sandpaper grits, move the tool rest out of the way, slowly lay it down a little bit. The green is 120 grit and the yellow is 220. So we'll get uh, some of these uh, curve, rough curves that are in here out with the uh, 120. Just a little bit of uh, sanding will pretty much give us the shape we want here. 
We can go for the uh, 220, speed it up just a little bit. That gives a nice uh, smooth finish for the wax that we're going to put on it in a minute. So we've uh, finished the uh, sanding here. Now we're going to um, put a light coat of paraffin wax on. Then we're going to take a, uh, a little small rag. One uh, small enough that someone cannot wrap around their finger. And use that to apply enough pressure to heat the wax. And give it a pretty nice finish. Be careful not to put too much wax on or it takes a while to get it off. After uh, we've waxed it here, it can go and be uh, to the buffing station and be buffed to be if uh, someone wants it to be a little bit shinier. Or the other thing uh, that can be done at this point is we can take a uh, thin parting tool and put a couple of small grooves in it, then use a, a burning wire. It's best to do this after the wax has uh, been applied. If you do it before the wax, then the wax will go down into the uh, grooves that are burned. So we'll take a little uh, burning wire here, using a good bit of friction, let it smoke a little bit. And we've got a couple of uh, nice crisp uh, lines on the stopper. And we can uh, unscrew it. Then we'll have a little bit of wax left on the cloth here to just to add a little bit to this surface here. And we can put a little bit of uh, yellow glue down in the uh, hole and then take one of the uh, corks and glue it into the place and that'll be the finished stopper. To get a little bit shinier finish on the uh, bottom stopper, we can take this handle that has uh, 7 16 threads on the end. We can thread the stopper onto the uh, handle. We'll take a little bit of canuba wax to charge the uh, buffing wheel. It only takes a small amount of wax. Then we can uh, use the buffing wheel to Put a bit of a shine on the stopper here. We want to always use the handle because a bucking wheel can easily uh, pull the stopper out of your hand while you're trying to buff it and really make a real mess out of the out of the stopper. And we can use it to buff the bottom edge a little bit that'll show uh, around the edges of the cork.
And so we uh, end up with a stopper here that's a little bit, uh, has a little more shine to it than uh, what it had when it came off of the lathe with the paraffin wax. If that's, uh, if somebody wants it to be a little shinier, that uh, will add a little bit more shine to it.